I show you how to make my chocolate brandy cookies up next on the Trailer Park Cooking Show. Yeah, it's Jolene, the sugar baker. She's bringing Trailer Park lifestyle to the globe. So come on inside, don't be shy. Cause Jolene can't wait to meet you guys. She is the queen of the park with gossip news and lots of other parts. Yeah, Jolene Sugar Baker sharing with the world. She is one budget minded kind of girl with. Lots of cheap fashion, the passion at the park, the passion at the park, yeah, the passion at the park. She's dropping in on the neighbors, Jolene's world, cause she is one budget minded kind of girl. Trailer Park fans, it's Jolene Sugarbaker, the Trailer Park Queen, and welcome to the Trailer Park Taste Kitchen, and welcome to another edition of Cooking with Jolene, the Trailer Park Cooking Show, where I teach you how to live on a budget and do it the Trailer Park way. Well, I'm still snowed in, and I like to have a lot of cookies, so I'm back to the cookies again, and it's boozy cookies, too, because, you know, while I was at the liquor store, I might as well pick up a combo of things. So I picked up some brandy, which is great. I love brandy Alexander drinks, and um, that's what I use this usually for. But today we're going to be making a chocolate cookie. A brandy chocolate cookie. Yes, that's right. It's great. We're going to be using a cookie shooter, too. And I know that sounds very technical. You probably have come across one at a yard sale and turned your nose up from it. But, you know, I think it's the greatest invention ever because it's just like shooting out cookies. It's especially great around here, especially when you're snowed in. It's great to have unlimited cookies. I'm going to show you how to make brandy chocolate cookies up next on the Trailer Park Cooking Show. I'll be right back. Here's how you put it together. Welcome back. Making my brandy cookies is really simple, and I'm using a stand mixer today, but you could probably mix this by hand. But I've got a cup of vegetable shortening right here, solid vegetable shortening, and that goes right on in there. Let's just go ahead and push that right on in there, just like that. And I've got a half cup of granulated sugar. Let's go ahead and put that in there, and we're going to cream this together until it's nice and creamy. Okay, now we're going to add the best part, and that's the boozy part, and this is some brandy, and I've got a tablespoon here, and let's go ahead and put a tablespoon of that into the mixture, just like that. There we go, and, oop, don't spill it, and let's give that a mix around. Okay, we've got the brandy mixed in there, and... You know, if you don't like brandy, maybe you could use some vanilla, I don't know. Um, but this is mostly a boozy cookie, and I've got the brandy right here. And now, um, this is one-fourth cup of unsweetened uncocoa, and that goes right on in there. And we're just going to mix that around. Okay, we've got the sugar and the vegetable shortening in there and we already added the brandy and now we've got um, three cups of all-purpose flour that we're gonna mix in there slowly so let me do that and check back with you in just a moment now sometimes your batter is a little bit dry and you can just add a little bit more brandy to bring that around Okay, we got our brandy cookies all mixed up, and I like to use a cookie shooter, and this one's a battery-operated one. 
If you look around at yard sales, there's the first thing that people will pitch out there in a minute because they just don't understand them and I think they're the best thing ever because I mean it's like cookies on demand. It just plops them right down there on the tray. So I'm going to fill up this cookie shooter somehow here and I'll check back with you in just a moment. Okay, I got the cookie shooter loaded up and I don't know what, what did I set the oven at? Oven is set at 350 degrees and um, now I'm going to put them on the pan and it just plops them right down there on the pan and this is an ungreased um, baking pan and we're just going to place it down there and well, Maybe that was not, that looks like dog food. Maybe that's not, how, that's not how it's supposed to look at all. Maybe there is a problem here. Okay, now I've got a baking pan here and it's ungreased and I've got the cookie gun filled and I'm gonna shoot the cookies on the pan and I preheated the oven at 300 and 50 degrees, and it just plops them down there. Like that. There we go. We got a cookie out of there. And I'm just going to finish this pan and check back with you in just a moment. Okay, now we got the cookies down on the pan and I preheated the oven at 350 and we're going to bake these about 8 to 10 minutes until they're done. So set your timer. And there you have it, my chocolate brandy cookies. And look how dainty they look. And those are made from the cookie shooter. And you could probably find one at a hand-me-down store or maybe a yard sale this summer. But they're certainly a great kitchen product. I mean, they're usually under $10, especially around the holidays. And I just love to make them with these cookies. You can certainly use a cutout. Um, you could cut them out too. But look how pretty they are. And we use the brandy today. They're kind of boozy, which is great. It gives probably a great flavor to them. And I'm just tired of talking about them, so I'm just gonna taste one right now. Mmm. That's got like a butter cookie texture. Very nice and delicate, like a tea cookie. And, mmm. Very nice and light with that brandy flavor. And, um, very nice. It would go with coffee and hot chocolate and mmm. I'm sure going to be glad to be snowed in with these. These are just great. Mmm, boozy cookies right here in the Trailer Park Test Kitchen. I hope you get a chance to make my brandy chocolate cookies. And if you do, send me pictures at JoleneSugarBaker at gmail.com. Don't forget to follow me on the Twitter. I'm Jolene's trailer there. Add me on Google Plus. I'm there too. And of course, add me as a friend on Facebook. Hit that subscribe button because there's more cooking shows right around the corner. I'm cooking up a storm here inside the Trailer Park Test Kitchen. I can't wait till spring. Leave a comment so I know you stopped by. I hit that thumbs up button and I'll see you back real soon. Bye bye. Slap on all your blue eyes shadow. Watch out for that big tornado. Get all filled with Bye. pride in the double wide.